2003 at Vincent Corporation, Tampa, Florida. Uh, this is going to be a real do-it-yourself deal. Uh, the shop has gone home for the afternoon. Uh, but I'm going to run the crumb rubber for Goodyear in Ontario. Press we're going to use, uh, pick this one because it happens to have a two horsepower motor. It goes a little fast so I'll still be short of torque. Uh, crumb rubber takes extra torque. Uh, this is the inlet hopper. You can see the screw down there. Um, the screen, the screen we use is made out of bars. I'll hopefully show you some uh, others later on, but they're um, from an end. They're uh, three-eighths of an inch thick, good, uh, good burst strength. And uh, behind these bars are the continuation of the screw. The flighting on the screw gets a tighter and tighter pitch, which forces uh, the material to be pressed against the screen so the liquid will come through the screen and drain into this pan down here and drain out that hole down there. Um, I don't plan to collect the, collect the liquor. Uh, this is a cone. It's made out of brass. It is conical shaped. It presses into the discharge here. Oops, I see some material in here. Uh, and um, the more pressure we put on this cone, the more back pressure we have inside the screen, the more liquid we get out, uh, the higher the horsepower draw. Uh, the way we apply pressure is normally with an air cylinder, and this particular machine is set up to have a counterweight that I'll hang off the end here, and that'll push the door shut. And that's being fed in, feeding fairly well. From rubber, I put on a, about three gallons of water, uh, 24 pounds. Closed in that cone quite a bit. That arm was inclined upward, now it's down. The material I'm going to drop in the press is this crumb rubber. If I take a handful and squeeze it, you can see the water coming out. Clear water, and that's what it looks like. Let's try. And uh, give it a couple bags of stuff. Oh, no water has come out here yet. And uh, there goes the second bag. The action in here should be pretty straightforward, no bridging. There's the screw showing up. I think, yeah, there I see the screw showing up. Third bag. Um, oh, okay, look at all the water coming out. We're getting plenty of water. Cake, we'll soon see rubber cake. I hear it loading. Ha, huh, 21 amps, 22 maybe, 22, 21. Great shape. I've got everything I've got. Here comes cake. Oops. Yeah. Here's a cake coming out. There's plenty of water. I'm doing a good job of dewatering. Uh, catch a uh, sample material. And uh, that's what the dewatering looks like. Here's what's coming through the screen. Very some fine black particles, but I'd say we're getting, uh, and I'm getting a baggie of this, so with any kind of luck I can return this to you. Um, it's draining out, but very little uh, solids in the screen. I knew this one would work. Um, and yep, we're more or less horizontal now, so the cone has opened some. No real evidence of channeling. The material is coming out pretty uniformly all the way around. We always like to see that. And uh, there's a baggie of press cake. Um, if I grab some of this right here, get rid of these cotton seed holes, grab some up here. And now when I squeeze this, not a drop of water. Oop, getting a little bit between my fingers there. But uh, Get a little bigger handful and see if I can get any water. If I had water coming out, I'd simply say, oh, we need to put a, another gallon of water on there. Um, just, I got it about right first try. Doesn't come much better than this. Um, so to clean out the press, I take off my weight, prop this up, 
stuff coming out. This is the uh, 4th of February, 2015. We're at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. Uh, we just finished one test and we're gonna give this rubber, crumb rubber, one more shot. Forward, and here comes some crumb rubber. Liquid. This uh, screen is 15 to uh, pushing the cake out. It, uh, the screen is 15 to 20 thousandths opening for one uh, we ran last month. Okay, it's pushing the cake out, getting stuff through the screen. Once we got rid of the block discharge, we're getting some action here. And you see it going down there. I, I think it just fills that void in the screen. Yeah. yeah. We purged it. Oh, yeah. I still got fresh cake coming out. Okay. Not a whole lot, but it's coming out. What? No, I opened the cone. We'll get the rest of the uh, white stuff out. <laughs> Collecting some cake. And... Uh, Andrew is collecting fresh liquor down here, and um, um, it's uh, fairly fluid. We're channeling. We need the rotating cone in the option in this press. Um, throughput seems low, but um, anyway, we know we can repeat this. If, I thought I'd gotten out of having to put this video on uh, YouTube. Uh, it's feeding slowly, but we uh, are getting consistent results. Fresh liquor, uh, not that bad. Steady stream of fresh cake. Uh, we're collecting samples of the fresh liquor and uh, fresh cake to send to you um, in case this is what you want to do.